in my ashram, I see so many people coming to me. I had this lady coming from Coimbatore, down south. She had not slept for the last 15 days. She had no hunger. She had no thirst. She was hospitalized for more than eight days. Then her mom said, doctor is saying there is nothing wrong with you and what the hell this drama is going on. But the poor thing was crying, couldn't sleep, couldn't eat. And then mom said, okay, maybe you need only guruma. So let's go to ashram. So they booked their air ticket, they come to me. And she was pretty disheveled the way I looked at what happened. And then I was told that this is the, the whole case. Um, for any person who, who is in this kind of a condition, who can't even sleep even after the sleep pills have been given to the person. So I had a talk with her and there was nothing wrong in her family, let me. A very happy, happy family. Nothing wrong and nothing so uh, a small or big, no issues at all. But yet this has happened. So. Now, I will bring these solutions along with the problems because I'm putting up a very gory picture of stress. Now, I want to bring some solutions side by side. So the one solution which I suggest is called Yoga Nidra. Y-O-G-A, Yoga. In English, many people say it's Yoga, but in Sanskrit, it's Yoga. Y-O-G, so A is actually uh, not pronounced. Nidra, nidra means sleep. So in one word I can say a yogic sleep. Before I talk about the yogic sleep, I would like to share this beautiful information with you. Uh, in India we have a huge scientific research center called the Indian Council of Medical Research in state of Andhra Pradesh in, in Hyderabad. And a six-month clinical trial was done on yoga nidra. Some 75 subjects were taken. They all had blood pressure, diastolic and systolic. Um, the highest upper range which we had in that trial was 165. Yeah. So these people would come to the center. All the protocol was followed. And yoga nidra is something which you do while lying down. Not standing, not sitting, you lie down. You lie down straight on your back, relax your body, close your eyes, and follow the instructions in step one, two, three, four, and five. Five steps in that. The first step is of relaxation. It's a guided relaxation. Step two, you go into deep breathing. Three, it's a small prayer which you make and a small resolve which you make. And this resolve works like a seed. You sow a seed in the earth. In six weeks, it sprouts. And in three months, it turns into a plant. And a few months more, and then the flowers are there and the fruits are there. So whatever changes we need to bring in our life, so you make that resolve. I don't do it for you. You do it for yourself. I just lie, take you to that point where your conscious mind is totally relaxed. Your body is totally relaxed. And we are into that point where physically, glandular-wise, nervous system, muscular system, circulatory system, is all calmed down. And this is the point where you make the resolve, like you have some addiction, you have some bad habit, you wish to change some of the bad traits in your life which you don't like, or you wish to do something good for yourself. So you make that resolve, so you decide, and you repeat that three times. Why three times? Because there are three layers to your mind. The conscious mind, the subconscious mind and the unconscious mind. There is a fourth, but that is the macro cosmic uh, unconscious mind, but we don't go to all the way to that fourth layer. The yoga nidra takes you up till your third layer. So the resolve is repeated three times, and then the step is of doing the reverse counting with the deep breathing. 
When you inhale a deep breath, a lot of oxygen is going in into your blood. And this oxygenated blood will reach the brain and heart and all the organs in your body. And the reverse count is something which also will help you to slowly make an access to your subconscious mind. Now when your body is totally relaxed, the obvious thing which will happen is, which should happen actually, and that is sleep will come. But in yoga nidra, that is the whole challenge that our body and our conscious mind has been brought into a state where it should go into the unconscious zone of sleep, but yet with the ability to do the counting while doing the breathing, the reverse counting, your, your conscious mind is being kept up. So it is a, a very challenging, but that is the whole objective to create this state. So you're doing the reverse count and then in the end you come to the point where you do, you are suggested certain objects which you visualize. And then you come to the end and in the end you again repeat your resolve which you did in the beginning. So the whole practice is of 40 minutes which you do in the comfort of your own home, in your own bed. Um, so this particular practice called Yoga Nidra was done by these set of some 70 subjects for span of six months it went on. So every uh, third day the tests were taken, the BP was taken, the blood test was done following the 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 trial as per the rules. And it was found that after a month, there was a beautiful normal diastolic and systolic blood pressure. And at the draft scale of stress, that's the way how the psychiatrist will measure somebody's anxiety or stress levels, and it was found that it reduced down. By second month, when the blood work was done and it was found, that the inflammation factor, the CRP, came down. The insulin levels came down. The glucose levels came down. The TSH levels came down. And for what this whole thing was going on, and that is reducing the blood pressure, it was found they had a beautiful 78 by 118 blood pressure was maintained for all these times. And the results started coming just after three weeks. And I'm very pleased to inform you this, that that already got published in the medical journal. And very soon they are pushing, soon it is going to come into the international medical journal also. Because never ever they had seen something like this. There's no drug, there's no you know, naturopathy pill or something. It is just you and your mind and the system which you follow. And this system gives you the power to bring that change in your body. And that is so much um, measurable. You know, if I say, oh, I'm feeling good, how will you measure that? If you say, I'm feeling bad, how will you measure that? But if somebody checks the cortisol level in your blood, it's very much measurable. With the stress, the insulin level rises. Uh, this I have observed, and I have a set of physicians who live in my facility, and we are working with thousands of men and women and children and youth also, and we have found that when the diabetic patient begins to do the yoga nidra, again, there is such a drastic change which is occurring in their insulin level. Now, two, three pointers which I would like to give is, and that is the, where the yoga nidra gives you the power to bring that calmness to the mind, to bring that peace to the mind, to bring these beautiful changes in your body so that you are able to live your life in a healthy and happier in a calmer way. See, if an, you have an agitated, angry, stressful boss, 
your life is a hell. You don't have to die to go to a hell. You have a hell. If your husband is like that, if your wife is like that, if your brother is like that, or your sister is, or your neighbor, God forbid, is like that, will give you a lot of troubles. Now, we cannot change people. Please don't even try. I don't do that. I know, even if you don't practice a yoga nidra, even if you don't do anything at all, I won't be upset because I'm not expecting. Somebody was asking me, Guruma, you had been speaking these five days in the Stringeri Center, and we had um, a three-day uh, program. So I was talking almost four hours, giving them meditation sessions, answering the questions. Somebody asked me this question. Do you think so people listen to you? I said, I am very sure they don't. <laughs> I'm absolutely clear about it that they won't. Then, then why, why do you speak and you are toiling yourself so much? I said, I'm, I'm hoping maybe someday out of fluke somebody listens to me. And if that some one person will listen to me, I might be able to bring some change in that person's life. Meaning, if a person understands the validity and the scientific research is talking about conclusively that yes, you can take away, you can um, kick the stress out of your mind and bring beautiful changes to you. One, you will have a good sleep. Two, you want to be emotionally, you know, the seesaw going up and down all the time. And also the need to have alcohol or cigarette or a drug or a hard drug. And these days the most famous thing which is happening over here, that's a CBD and the marijuana. And everybody is loving the whole idea because the loss. Okay, you can take it. Fine. You can take as much. But the point is, until you improve upon the way you see the things and until you become the master of your own mind, it isn't going to give you a permanent solution.